Hi, welcome to Geography 1000, Introduction to Geography. In this short tutorial, I want to talk about some of the resources that have been, been provided for you via Blackboard. Geography is the study of place. In this course, we take a topical as opposed to regional approach to geography to describe cultural, demographic, and physical phenomena that occur across the surface of the Earth. Our department also offers a World Regional Geography class, which breaks the Earth into different regions, where we look at the culture, for the culture, the demography, physical phenomena, development for each of the particular regions, such as Europe or Sub-Saharan Africa or the Middle East or South America or Latin America or whatever. This course is a little bit different where we look at one particular facet of geography and map it across the surface of the Earth. This is a 1,000 level class, so typically 1,000 level work is going to be expected, and that entails we average about one assignment per week that will accompany the lecture and the reading materials. I'm going to go through my Blackboard resources that I've provided. You can see here I have Blackboard open up right here. This is for the spring 2018 semester, but in future semesters it shouldn't be much different. You can see over on the left I have announcements. This is where I'm going to place announcements. Please be sure that you pay attention to all announcements, as if I need to cancel class or move something or move a due date, this is where I'll post it. Under course contacts, this is my contact information. You can see my email address, my work phone, my, uh, my office location, my office hours, which may change. This semester I'll have a teaching assistant. In future semesters I may or may not have a future uh, teaching assistant. This is the course information where I provide the course syllabus. And I'm going to go through this course syllabus real quick and I'll also do so in class. So like I said before, all resources will be provided through Blackboard and I post all announcements th through Blackboard. So please pay attention to them. It's really important that you follow directions. As you go through Blackboard, you can see the course objectives, my contact information, my availability, I have a lot of announcements here that talk about leeways on deadlines and due dates, and I'll talk more about that when we look at assignments in the future. The materials here, I have the book that's called Introduction to Geography, People, Places, Environments, the fifth edition. There's six or seven editions out there now, so I'm not asking you to get the new one. I've found the, this particular edition for as little as $3.49. Like I say here, and like I write here, any version of the book will work. Just make sure the chapters align with each other that we're covering. About half of all homework questions refer to the readings in the book. So in addition, there'll be a Blackboard site where we'll have all announcements, selected articles that we'll see. So I have a combination of videos, lectures, and book that we have. And I'll talk about some of the geography videos in a bit. These are our grades right here. So we have one midterm, one final. We have labs, and then we have written assignments. So each exam is worth 20% of your grade. Both exams are worth a total of 40% of your grade. And then these labs, basically just very short answer, multiple choice, covering the material that we look at. And then we have some written assignments. We actually have to go do a little bit of research on something, write them out, and then we'll talk about some of the extra credit opportunities that we have. In this class, we have 500 total points. Once you get up to 445 points, you've earned an A. And at any point in time, you can compute your grade. So. If I've offered 300 points for the semester so far and you've only earned 200 of those points, you're earning a, you know, 200 divided by 300, which is, you know, 67% or whatever. So it's very easy to calculate your grade. If you choose not to submit exercise, exercises and assignments until the end of the semester, where they'll earn a five-point deduction, then it'll be much more difficult to get your standing in class. But if you turn in all the assignments on time, take the exams on time, it'll be very easy to calculate your grade as we go through those. Like I said before, each exam is worth 20% of, uh, of your final grade. I have the class attendance policy that we'll go through. We have the exams, class notes that I'll talk about, and the assignments. There'll be eight assignments offered throughout the semester. They're going to be multiple choice or short answer based on the lecture, reading, and video, uh, video materials that supplement the content for this course. There'll also be four written assignments. And assignments are being typed in and submitted. I'll have another tutorial on how to submit these particular assignments. And then we'll also have extra credit will be given throughout class, and I'll talk about that later too. 
you must be present in order to answer the questions or earn extra credit for those particular assignments because it's based on some of the lecture material that we'll be talking about. So as you go through the, the assignments and you go through the syllabus, you can see a breakdown of each one here. Okay? Like I wrote before, or like I alluded to before, there will be due dates based on when we go through the assignments. Once you submit the assignment after the due date, it'll earn a five-point deduction. All assignments will close and be accessible on reading day, meaning the Tuesday after classes end at 12 o'clock p.m. After that time, you will not be able to submit any assignments. So if you submit an assignment after your due date, it needs to be turned in by the reading day. And if it's turned in by the reading day and after the due date, it'll earn a five-point deduction. So this encourages people to stay up to date. Okay. After that point in time, since I need to do grades and submit senior assignments, it's going to be, I, I won't be able to grade all of these on time. I have some information about withdrawals, incompletes. A grade of incomplete is given under extraordinary circumstances. Students need to be in good standing at the time of the onset of circumstances. So we all have things that come up. You need to keep the instructor praised of that extra credit I'll talk about and then you can go through the class uh, you know class expectations other material like I said before a uh, couple other things I do want to mention I don't handle your registration I can only submit grades okay so if you need to drop the class or need to add it I cannot do that okay you need to work through that with your advisor so if you stop coming I'm just gonna give you whatever the grade book says okay so be sure you officially drop the class and then some information on confidentiality and mandatory reporting, as well as a statement of, uh, for disability services. Now, as we go through Blackboard also, uh, this was in course information. I've got course content. These are all the lectures that we're gonna be going through, okay? So if you looked at the syllabus, I have a breakdown of the lectures that we go through. We pretty much look at about eight different units. And you can download these PowerPoints and work through these in class. So when we actually look at the PowerPoints here, this is the PowerPoint for exercise or chapter number one. You can see what we're looking at here. You can see some of the maps, some of the graphics here. The main thing that you'll see is that you'll notice that some of these are blank. So if these are blank, you will need to fill these in during class by taking notes. You notice I don't make, uh, I don't make you take down too many notes, but it's important that I try to focus on the key terms that we'll look at in the book. Like I said before, all exams are going to be open note, open book, but they're going to be timed. So you need to ensure that you're able to find the material as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So it'll be up to you to go through and fill those out. If you want to print those out and bring these in and write these, or if you can bring these in on your laptop and Excuse me. Uh, bring these in on your laptop and type these in as you go. These are a lot of the key terms that we will look at. But make sure you save these. It'll be on you. I will not provide the completed answers to these at any point in time. So the only way to get these is by attending class. So this is under course content. I have assignments. Okay, so you can see some of the assignments that I have here. And I'll have a future tutorial that'll talk about how to submit the assignments. I have tests and quizzes, like I said before. We'll have a midterm exam worth 20% of your final grade, a final exam worth 20% of your final grade. I have some maps up here. Since this is a geography class, we'll focus on maps and the science of where. But I have some review, uh, I have some review questions here uh, for both the midterm and the final. And I'll do a sample uh, midterm exam on another tutorial. And then external links. Okay. So as we go through each of the assignments, I have I, I refer to some hyperlinks that say, look at the video on this, or go to this particular website and look up this. You'll see in external links, this references all of the assignments. So you can see in assignment number one, questions 19 to 20, there was a latitude and longitude question that I ask about. On assignment number one, we go to the Gopher GIS website, we look at questions 21 through 23. So I can right mouse click on these links, open up a new tab, and then this will take us to the Guilford GIS, where I ask you to go through and look up some skills or, or do some things. You know, we might have to do a quick search or whatever. Okay? 
do some sort of quick search and look up something. We can zoom in to these particular parcels. We can use the I button and click on this little button here and it'll tell me what it does. But these external links reference the assignments. Here's a couple from exercise number one. This is an ArcGIS application that I created for the, particularly for this class. So this is a map of all of the NFL franchises throughout the, uh, throughout the United States. Okay, so you can see this is fairly updated. I can look at the layer list over here and I can click on these and actually look at a legend and so I can see where the AFC East, AFC West, I can zoom in on these. Okay? But these reference the exercises and the assignments that we'll be talking about. Lastly, we'll, we'll have a discussion board. I'll create a form here so if there are any uh, questions, there shouldn't need to be. So in conclusion, this just talks about some of the resources. I want to welcome, to, welcome you to Introduction to Geography. There's a lot of job potential in the study of geography. We'll cover a, little, a few of the technical skills that you'll need. In this day and age, it's really important that you acquire technical skills, pointing and clicking, computation of numbers, interpretation of maps. In this class, I, I hope you're able to do it and learn a little bit more about geography, the potential for geography, and then how it can apply to your particular major.